Okay, Florida Explorer here. We're uh, when with the Coochie State Forest. We're at camp with the Coochie. This was um, a Girl Scout of America camp back in the 60s. It's been abandoned since then. Um, as, as the values of the country changed, the society changed, the organizations like this, BSA, GSA, had to adjust their budgets. Uh, they weren't able to do what they did, but uh, initially or originally. But this would have this was a bustling. Darn it! This was a bustling place at one point in time, where young women and girls would have come to enjoy the great outdoors. And here's another structure. Uh, imagine this would have been a picnic area. Would have held maybe meetings, something like that in here. Um, you can see the it'd be cool if someone had carved their carved their names into these things at some point in time, but this may have I don't see the evidence of it but on the inside or the outside, but this may have held uh, screens at some point, but I don't know. I'm going to probably say not. Okay, now we're coming back into the most unique feature, in my opinion, other than the totem pole, which we're going to go see eventually, of this whole area are these tree houses um, that these people camped at. Camped in. This would have... As you can see the first joist there would have been oops more spiders my favorite it would have been the first floor now, this is quite a bit deteriorated from the last time I was out here it's been probably two or three years since we were out here the first time and this has fallen down quite a bit more uh, during that time we're in first part of May so this is very much overgrown this area um, But there were probably, I don't know, there were a number of these things back here, at least four or five, if not more. And back in the day, who knows how many of these would have been back in here. I see this one now. The trail looks like it pretty much ends right there. Um, I seem to recall it being more of a circular type of area where there were just, like I said, four or five of these things. Okay, here's some more back here. You can see the wood from something. Oh, yeah, these are in much better shape. Give you a much better idea of what these would have looked like back in the 60s. And they probably, who knows? I mean, gosh, I bet you could fit seven or eight girls up there. I mean, they would have all probably been in sleeping bags. This was the 60s. It wasn't like it is now. I mean, girls are still girls, but. They were a lot uh, less used to the comforts and pamperings that girls today are. Um, certainly wouldn't have had any cell phones or anything like that. PDAs or PDFs or whatever the heck they call them. That gives you a really good idea. This was number six, who knows what that was. But that one there is obviously the most intact of all of them very excellent representation of what what these things look like uh, excellent excellent stuff very cool that no one's gone and tore these down I'm not sure what's back here we're gonna go oh here's another couple okay good yeah two more so that's that's five already we've seen so Nice, 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 nice. 
This isn't a bad in representation intact wise. That first one was completely falling down. But these are more intact. So this is essentially on like a circular path. These are telephone poles with houses built on top of them. Here's okay, here's there's five. There's another one through here, and that looks like the other path where I didn't come out at. Oh, very cool. Here we go. This is what I was hoping to find. Amy and Robert. Nice. Nice. So some girl who's probably my age or even beyond, probably beyond my age, would have written that back when she was a girl. Innocent, full of life, full of hope and expectation. And here's another one here. I don't know that there are any more, but that's six. And this one is completely gone. There's a telephone pole left, and that's all there is. Um, but I think that might be the other side of that path that I didn't want to come down. But you can see there's some metal detritus back in there. Uh, all of, you know, falling off of the off the top of this thing. Okay, now we're coming up on the the center, the cent, the central, the center, the center, the central place, the center of activity of this camp would have been in this area here, this opening, which is now much smaller than it would have been at the time. As are everything, all these paths and everything would have been much more wide at the time. But this is the base, of the totem pole. And this is the totem pole that for some reason, some way or other, got over here. But you can see it was a cast lathe type of deal at some point. That would have been something that would have been a, set on top of that pedestal. And they would have had their campfires, they would have had their meetings, their little, uh, I don't want to say chants, but their pledges and all that sort of stuff. They would have had all that, all those sort of things. This would have been the hub, the center of activity. Uh, Probably, a, you know, morning and night, they would have probably gathered here to, you know, maybe even pray and worship. Who knows? I mean, that would have been something that would have been standard for Americans, most Americans, back in the 60s, back when this was open. This is an old uh, storage shed they would have used for their equipment and their toys, you know, their, their, their activities, things like that, right beyond there, probably about 20, 30, 40 yards maybe, if that is a is the river. So none of this brush would have been here. Uh, none of this brush around here anywhere would have been here. This would have all been completely exposed. There would have been trees here. There would have been paths through the woods. Uh, there would have been a path down to what we saw earlier um, as the toilets. Um, we're not sure if those toilets were exclusively for this or if they were... Uh, also, that's something boaters could have pulled up and used, but I, I, just, I tend to think they were for this because this this whole area was leased by GSA or given to them or whatever designated to them back in the day. Um, so they would have had free reign of this whole area. And the, the restrooms, even though we've come up one path and way down another path, the restrooms uh, that we saw were right down there. So, and we're pretty sure they were just, you know, essentially outhouses with septic tanks or whatever. They weren't, uh, they probably didn't flush. I don't know. I mean, that's, that's a guess either way. They might have piped in water off of the river um, and then used that to flush and then it would have leached out uh, as, as normal septic tank systems do. Um, who knows? That's all conjecture, that part of it, the, the mechanics. Certainly, there's a lot to be said that, you know, that that was, those facilities were for this. So, um, anyway, we're going to head out where the weekend's just about over. I'm going to go back down this path and rescue the lovely research assistant who is distraught right now over the fact that I was exploring while she was looking for me. So, anyway, um... For now, and for this weekend, probably for the rest of it, we are...